Well, I, I think we have to consider the yield results when we think about the, the results we saw here at Scott, Mississippi with Thrive On Technology in 2020. We did record machine harvested yields, but like I said, when the, we started the, the tour today, our yields were pretty significantly impacted by the hurricanes that came ashore and either took direct hits at Scott or we took a glance and blow from them. I don't think that negates the fact that the yield results are still useful. When you look at what we were expecting versus what we harvested from the Thrive On technology plots we had, we wound up harvesting about 600 pounds of lint out of them. I suspect that the hurricanes had a pretty significant impact on that. When you look at the, the differences between an untreated 1646 versus an untreated Thrive On technology containing variety, we saw about 130 or 40 pounds an acre improvement in yield just from having the technology present in the field. That's somewhere on the order of about 20% improvement in yield. We've had a program this year that, that's based in a lot of other environments at varying pressures and different geographies. And I turn it over to Tim Dabbert now to introduce some of those results and talk a little bit about what was observed in some of those test sites. Thanks, Trey. So for 2020, um, our national protocols, our protocols that we um, work with our, our academic entomologist experts and, and plant them with cotton you know, throughout the cotton belt. Um, so one of the things we wanted, or the two things we wanted to do in 2020 was really look at the expansion of Thrive On's footprint in our testing uh, program and, and really ensure that the efficacy that we see in the smaller plots really translates into the larger plots. The second component of 2020 that we wanted to do is, is build another data set that we can add to have a multi-year look at, at this efficacy as it relates to tarnished plant bugs and, and overall yield performance. Looking at the 2020 results, um, the, the trait seems to work the best at high pressure. And when I when I say high pressure, our, our threshold is 3x the, the economic threshold for the area. And so when we really look at the high pressure sites and we look at the, the tarnished plant bug numbers or counts that we, we take throughout um, the growing season, what we see in the Thrive On technology is about a 40% reduction in, in the number of nymphs. Or if we look at those same high pressure sites and, and look at the square retention, we see a, about a 4% increase in square retention in the Thrive On um, compared to the Czech variety that does not contain Thrive On. And so one of the things we wanted to look at is, is across the years that this was testing, how does this really translate into yield? Um, and, and at those same high pressure locations, um, on untreated plots, so, so plots that we did not spray with insecticide, we see about a 228 pound yield advantage of Thrive On compared to the check. And then in the plots that we have there that we are treating like a grower would and, and spraying on economic threshold, we see about 173 pound yield advantage um, of Thrive On compared to the, the check that does not contain Thrive On. So based on what we saw from the, the multi-year analysis that we did with Thrive On technology, uh, we, sh we showed a, a decrease in, in tarnished plant bug nymphs that caused damage. We showed an increase in square retention results in the Thrive On technology. And we also showed a, a significant increase in yield under high pressure tarnished plant bugs. So depending on regulatory approval, we're excited to get this technology out to growers. 